Man, I'll tell you what, um, we had some great discussion yesterday. <laughs> and um, and man, I'm really excited about there's it, there's so much that that we could chew on here. Um, but I know, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show and um, and Lakita and Don were both sharing some things that really hit home for them. And, and I want to circle back to some of that for just a moment. So, you know, Lakita. Tell us a little bit about what you were, you know, what really stood out to you uh, yesterday. Okay. So I know when we were coming towards the end of the call and you were expressing how it felt to, um, you know, show up into that space, um, your wheat field, right? And how God continued to change that for you mm -hmm. as you continue to set at his feet. He kept... Um, revealing himself, himself more to you. Like you had to start at one position and then, you know, then he came to you and you mm -hmm. talked about laughing with them and just, you know, just enjoying everything, the time with them. And so mm -hmm. when you were speaking about that, I was so excited because I was like, my goodness. Now, and I wasn't at a wheat field. I was under oak tree. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I see a nice little sunset. But, and that was, that was how it, that's how it is with mm -hmm. me when I'm sitting at his feet and, you know, in his word and I just enjoy the time I do while in listening to that. I remember because um, we've been talking about relationship. Right. And also mm -hmm. talk about religion. So I like to go back to the religion state. I'm a very emotional person like you cry. I cry. <laughs> you happy. I'm happy. <laughs> and and if, if I'm in a good a uh, space with good energy. I'm excited. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how it was. And it's almost like how we are conditioned when we go to church, you know, we get that word and we, we ready to live by the word. As soon as we step outside the doors and somebody cuts you off on the road, heading home, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're in a different space, right? Wow. A different mm -hmm. Energy, right. Mm -hmm. And so that, that bothered me because also while I was at working at a job toiling and, tired and, you know, having to do so many different things, having so many different responsibilities and living outside of my own will and only going into God, going according to God's will when I went to church or when I listened to a Bible study, something mm -hmm. like that, I began to notice when, when God started shifting shifting me when I was in, you know, setting the little timers and things like that on my phone that I talked about at first. And when mm -hmm. he started extending my five, my little 30 seconds to a couple of minutes and then a couple of minutes to 30 minutes, 30 minutes to sometimes an hour with him, I started to understand. He started to show me that you can feel like this free and lightly mm -hmm. I'm in my presence. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to you all about how I I'm constant conversation with the Lord all day, you know, with my mm -hmm. spirit, always constantly talking to him. And so if somebody cuts me off on the road, I find myself praying for him like, oh, Lord, <laughs> he in the right. But, you know, but mm -hmm. the, the difference of how he taught me through that is when I was in a, a space trying to do it at my own will, I could be working out and I'll feel real good after that for a little bit, mm -hmm. but something instantly could change my, my attitude, my energy. But whereas when, when you were building this relationship with the Lord and, and when you was talking about it, that's what my time is like constantly mm -hmm. with them. Even if there's things that um, come up, I don't sit in it and think about, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I really, I'm going to the Lord and I'm asking him. And it's this peace, mm -hmm. this peace to just sustain yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and and it's just so beautiful because he showed me through these different steps, how to come to a place. And the thing is, we talked about it. You never arrive with them. He just keeps on pulling mm -hmm. you out. He keeps on mm -hmm. shifting and changing the realms and 
that that's what I love because he he knows what we need when we need it, right? Mm-hmm. And then this last thing I would add, he was I was talking to him this morning and he was putting some things on my heart. And he said, baby, I want you to understand how how things are sometimes when when I'm operating with you. When you bake in a cake, and this is exactly what he was telling me. He was like, when you bake in a cake, it requires all these different ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're putting all the ingredients together and you stirring it up and you mix it up. He said, but can you eat that cake? Mm -hmm. (laughs) No, Mm -hmm. you have to set the timer. Mm -hmm. And there's this time, you know, you got to preheat the oven. Then you have to put it in Mm -hmm. the oven. And then it bakes. And, and he was just sharing with me, like sometimes there's different steps. I desire this where I am. And I had no idea it would be anything like this. My mm-hmm. relationship with him. Mm-hmm. When he says, be not on your own understanding, do not, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But yeah. it's like he's brought me here, but I needed the eggs, the flour, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. sugar. You know, I needed those little steps so that mm-hmm. it's not so easy for me to be so emotional and lose it that quick with him that's right so right. I, that's how he talks to me you know mm-hmm. and um but i just i just want anybody that's listening today that feels like they don't have this particular relationship with the lord mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when i tell you oh just sit at his feet mm-hmm. and he'll mm-hmm. give you the eggs he'll yeah. give you the flour and he will cultivate you he'll give you the time and he'll shift it to where you look look at what you're doing and look on the outside and when things look like a tornado you know they say it's a in a tornado they say in the inside of it it's really beautiful Mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. on the outside is so much destruction Mm -hmm. there are times that it is destruction going on and i'm in the middle like marveling Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you could pull from that, just yeah. stay on his feet. Yeah. Read yeah. his word and he'll reveal these things to you. So mm-hmm. that's, um, that's that's really good. I mean, that's really good because baking is a science and there are certain things that have to be done at a certain time. And the reason I know baking is a science is because I'm not good at it. <laughs> Specifically because it's too many steps that need to be done and too much to know. Right? But that's such a good analogy there because it is. There's the even even, even the preheating of the oven has right. to be right before you even put what you have mixed together in. And so I think that's, you know, that's really great. And and I love that you pointed out about the relationship and just how and, and allowing God to cultivate that because we can, the enemy can get us into condemnation very quickly thinking that, oh, you don't have what they have and you can't, you know, I, I, ha- I hear so many times people say to me, I can't hear God. He doesn't talk to me. He's, and it's, and, and listen, honey, that is furthest from the truth. God is always speaking. He desires to talk to you. It is just a matter of us bringing our body under the submission to just sit and he will come and do the rest. He will do the work. He will do the work. And it's not about your performance. So you can't even perform enough to develop the relationship. He will come meet you and come find you. And, you know, that's the thing about that today. Don, I know you had, you know, some other um, aspects of that that you want to hit on. Yeah. I, I, I think that the, um, the thing that I'm, I'm hearing is, as we're, we're talking uh, or the point that we really want to get across to everyone that's that's listening and and watching and all that kind of good stuff is that um, God God desires to meet you where you are. Mm-hmm. That you don't have to be like a Lakita. Uh, just said mm-hmm. uh, Don, you, you don't have to follow this. No, no, no. God wants to have that once again personal relationship with you. Mm-hmm. And how God deals with you is how God deals with you. That's why you can't compare how God is dealing with Lakita or Jacinta or Don. You can't compare where you are. Because just as Jacinta just said, the enemy will jump on that like a flea on a dog mm-hmm. and, and will exploit that to know. See, you 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 don't you you can't be hearing like 
you know, like Jacinda Aaron or Don is Aaron or whatever. You can't. <clears throat> and guess what? Uh, the devil, the devil is messing with your mind, messing mm -hmm. with your mind. So you got to look at it on an individual um, basis that God wants to deal with you and develop you uh, as as he desires to interact with you. Because, you know, as, as I as I hear Jacinta talk about how she was in the field and and um, Jesus was sitting there waiting for her and uh, Lakita talked about she's under an oak tree and all. Guess what? I don't get any of that because that's <laughs> not me. <laughs> the, what what I what I get excited over is when I hear the word of God and it impacts me, you know, just like on yesterday, we talked about that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15, reading it from the Passion Translation. I'm telling, and, and if, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm going to read it because I, I, I want you to hear this. Um, you know, it says Colossians chapter 2 from the Passion Translation. He, ca he canceled out every legal violation we had on, and, and I'm going to personalize it, that I had on my record. Mm -hmm. And and the old arrest warrant that stood to indict me, he Jesus erased it all, mm -hmm. my sins, my stains. So he deleted it all, and what this is about really got me. And they cannot be retrieved, right. even when they go looking for it. Right. When they only go looking for it, it cannot be. They can't find it. Mm -hmm. I see. I now I know he did this, and I know he did that. I I know, I, and I know it's somewhere. It's it's recorded because we were in court, and 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 now because the judge, the righteous judge, is asking, "Where is your evidence?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, you see, this is how the word of God impacts me. I I do get excited over that when it hits me, and I come to understand that this is what God has done for me. Mm -hmm. and, and so so I guess the bottom line, we 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 learn about the unforced rhythms of grace as we encounter his word and we spend that time with the Lord. We 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 develop our relationship with God and, and we get to know wh who God is, what his word is saying to us. Mm -hmm. And this is what it's this is what it's all about. You know, I I, I, I can't say, you know, that that I, I had, you know, Jesus was calling my name, mm -hmm. you know, to come over and sit down with the picnic table and all that. Kind of, you know, that that's the center, man. And I appreciate that because the picture is painted in my mind. and I see it. Glory mm -hmm. to God. But that's not my picture. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I have my own production agency right? in my mm -hmm. own mind. Glory to God. And and this was one, you know, we, we did this in the morning. This scripture um, uh, stuck, stuck with me all the way to the time that I had Bible study with my congregation. And mm -hmm. this is what I started off with, even though it mm -hmm. wasn't even in the, in the notes to go over for the Bible <laughs> study. This is what I started because that's how impactful because when we understand that God has has canceled out all the arrest warrant and and has deleted all of the the bad record mm -hmm. as a sponge that's from a, I, I think I'm using the right word a sponge yes it's fine. <laughs> anyway, took it all away he took it all away mm -hmm. so that I can position be in a position to receive from him freely, that it's not dependent on me. It's not of what I have done. All mm -hmm. I got to do is this show up and be in the presence of the Lord. So that that's mm -hmm. that's my that's my um uh my take of of I've I've already forgotten the question that you asked. Uh, <laughs> the step. That's, 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 that's 
Yes. Amen. And y'all listen, I, I want to say that the reason that we're talking so much about this relationship is because remember, we've talked about all things flow from that. There are no, there's no formulas to me getting what God asks, has in store for me in life that operates outside of our relationship with him. And so as the devil would want to try to make you think that you can't be that close to God or you don't oh hear God. God, you see, that is one of those number one areas that stops us from receiving because we think we don't have that communication. And so, um, you know, going back when we talked, the, the beginning scripture that we talked about on the kickoff show was Matthew 11 and 28 through 30. Um, one of the ways that that scripture, that scripture ended by saying, learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Mm -hmm. And listen, when I first, for a while, I read that scripture and I longed so much to understand because it's such a beautiful phrase. Mm -hmm. This unforced rhythm of grace. And I why I said, Lord, I need to know what that is. What does that mean? And he began, I, I love the way God he he works things out with me. I will ask him a question, he'll give me somewhat of an answer, but then he just goes to work in demonstrating. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, he goes to work in demonstrating around me and letting me see these things play out practically so that I have a good reference point. And so that unforced rhythm of grace is really talking about the cadence that we can stay in, a, stay in alignment with the Holy Spirit because there is a rhythm. There is a rhythm. And guess what? That rhythm is always on top, never on bottom, always the head, never the tail. It is all of those promises that he has for us. It's the way in which we do life. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine being in every area of your life? You don't have to force anything. Wow. wow. That it, it flows. <laughs> Can you imagine being in such sync? with the Holy Spirit, that you do not hesitate about the next step you have to take. You're not concerned about what might happen next if I do this or that, or don't do this or that, you know? And then the rhythm of grace, meaning that my life is filled with all types of things that I don't deserve, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I get anyway, Come because on. I'm a kid. Yes. And you know what? Can I can I yeah. add to that right quick? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I love about God. I know when um I had uh, come to our Accelerate tribe, I remember you extending the invitation a couple of times, and I just didn't, mm -hmm. you know. And <laughs> but I was in this space at a time about me and how I parent mm -hmm. and how I was a mother, and that was difficult <laughs> for me. And as I I, I remember um. One day I hopped on and I just got captivated into mm -hmm. this space. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and this was what I was seeking and searching out. But when I came into the space, I was very vulnerable. And I remember sharing with you all how I felt as a mom. I mean, I, condemnation, mm -hmm. all, wow. you know. And I remember as I'm on this journey, how God started doing the very thing you're talking about, showing me and exposing that with my children. And I was like, if he put me and God's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. He's, mm -hmm. He shows us what he puts in his word and he's given us that in life. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, I would just sit and, and watch how I would operate with my kids, how if they fail, what I would do to, you know, go to their care and, how if someone made them upset, how I wanted everything to do to make them feel better mm -hmm. or when they did something that wasn't right, how I had to discipline them. But I wanted them to understand that I, I, mommy loves you, but I want the best for you. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh, hold up. That's the same love. And this ain't nothing on the type of love you mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. so he was showing me and teaching me That's right. through being a mom. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. He mm -hmm. uses so much around us. And that's why I say he's always speaking. Mm 
That's right. You know, it may not even be in an audible phrase. It may not even be in, you know, a thought coming through your mind. It is literally just these things that he exposes us to. And he's speaking in that in that regard. And so this this rhythm, we can find ourselves now in, like I said, a cadence with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. keeps us, number one, in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. Right. Imperfect peace. And that right there, <laughs> you know, but out, not only that, but also in the in the standing in the flow yeah. of blessing. Standing in a flow of blessing because our position is everything with him. And mm -hmm. he will put you in a place in which all things flow to you rather than the chasing. Mm -hmm. Trying to secure the bag, mm -hmm. right? Trying to chase the money, trying to chase the, the business, trying to chase the relationship. He will put you in a place where you where it flows. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm gonna bring up a, a scripture here at, um, of John 14 and 12, and that is in the Passion Translation here's, here's what we know, you know, the, this is Jesus talking. And he says, I tell you this timeless truth. The person who follows me in faith, believing in me will do the same mighty miracles that I do even greater miracles than these, because I go to be with my father. Mm -hmm. And so one, there's a couple of things that Jesus is actually pointing out here. And he's saying that, listen, um, I want you to be led Okay, we this is talking about he says, follow me in faith. Right. Mm -hmm. So one thing we have to point out is there is a difference between being filled with the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? We mm -hmm. can be filled. We can have our prayer language. But being led is a whole nother situation. <laughs> you know, and so he's saying the one that follows me. Well, how do I know he's talking about the Holy Spirit here? Well, because at the end of this verse, he says, because I go to be with my father. And we know that he said, because I went, I'm going to my father. It's actually good that I leave because when I leave, the Holy Spirit will be here with you. And so what this verse is telling us is that because we have access, not just to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but led by the Holy Spirit, that is the connector that allows us to do the greater work. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's so easy for us to try to, again, compartmentalize and think that, okay, I have a promise of doing the greater work, but I've got to go figure out how to do the greater mm -hmm. work. My mind. Mm -hmm. and, and so <laughs> in those greater works is us being able to live that life that he's promised and show other people how to do that. But yeah. it's contingent upon the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy yes. Spirit is the reason why. Mm -hmm. So and it shows our face, our faith. It illuminates that. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. Love that. So if we don't, if we don't realize that we got to dig deeper in some of these scriptures to understand what's really being said here and how this Holy Spirit is so important and integral. So if we're going to do the mighty exploits, <laughs> you know, meaning that in those things, in the, in the big mountains that we tell to move, Come you on. know, in the, in the streams, the, the, the oceans that we say have to dry up in the, in the things or, or part its ways in all of those things, we know, we are not doing that of our own strength. And so there's no figuring out, you know, I, I have told you guys this before that uh, the Holy Spirit made me take the, the phrase I have to figure out out of my vocabulary. I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Okay? <laughs> Come and the on. reason is he said to me, you don't have to figure anything out. I'm here. That's if right. there are exploits to be done, mm -hmm. if there are mountains to cross, if, if, if there's any of those things, we're going to do it together. So I, I don't know what you're trying to spend time figuring out. Right. Right. <laughs> that part. <laughs> right. Yes. So that taking it a step deeper as we dig in and challenge ourselves 
on what it is that I really believe. So the beauty of this scripture saying that, listen, you're going to be able to do so many things you never even imagined you can do. And it's all because of our relationship. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. That's right. right there. Yes. Uh, yes. Woo. Yes. And I, I'll, I'll leave you guys with, as we get ready to close up today, I, I'm going to share one more scripture with you. And that's Ephesians 1. And this is 7 through 14 in the message translation, because it's really, again, given us the idea and understanding of what the Holy Spirit is, because he this this scripture right here says it all. The Holy Spirit is our guarantee of the promise. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is the guarantee. That's right. So this this is an important relationship we have here. And, you know, Lakita mentioned yesterday about being afraid of the Holy Spirit, not wanting any parts of the Holy Spirit because and it, and it is very, it can be very misunderstood. That's right. You know, it's very misunderstood, but it's it's essential. And so here's what he said in Ephesians 1, 7 through 14. It says, because of the sacrifice of the Messiah. His blood poured out on the altar of the cross. We're a free people. First of all, just take that in. Free. We are a free people, free of penalties, like Don was just talking about, and punishments chalked up by all our misdeeds. He says you are free. Free. And not just barely free. Come on. Either. Abundantly free. Yes abundantly free. He thought of everything, provided for everything we could possibly need, letting us in on his plans. He took such delight in making. Hmm. He set it all out before us in Christ, a long range plan in which everything would be brought together and summed up in him. Everything in deepest heaven, hmm. everything in, in, uh, on planet earth. Everything, everything. Remember, everything is everything. Everything. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. It is in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Thank you. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is in Christ. We find out who we are and what we are living for, who we are and what our purpose is. You see, if you're if you're scrambling right now, not sure what you're here for, mm -hmm. what your purpose is. He tells us right here. We find that. When we find Christ, That's when right. we develop our relationship. Yeah. But here it says, long before we first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us. <laughs> before you even knew about him, he knew you. He knew you. And it says he he had designs on us for glorious living. My, my, my. Glorious living. Y'all understand we're talking about receiving here. He says, before you even thought about him, he was thinking about you and had plotted out a glorious life. Hmm. Part of the overall purpose, he is working out in everything and everyone. Yes. So if we're going to work out, if we're going to live in our purpose, it's only going to be through Christ oh. because he already plotted it out. He planned it and he said, it's glorious. It's glorious. It's glorious. And it says it's in Christ that you, once you heard the truth and believed it, this message of your salvation, found yourselves home free, signed, sealed and delivered by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Signed, sealed and delivered by the Holy Spirit. And then it says this, this Holy Spirit, this down payment from God is the first installment on what's coming a reminder that we'll get everything God has planned for us, a praising and glorious life. And so the, the, the foundation of receiving anything from God mm. is this relationship with his Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which the Bible says is his down payment. He gave you the Holy Spirit, he says, as a down payment. It is my guarantee to you. Wow. You have this, you have my word that you'll get everything I have planned for you. Uh, Every, and everything is everything, right? Everything is everything. Come Man. on. 
what an awesome <laughs> Yes. Oh, how awesome is that? Yeah. Right? right? Amen. Well, um, y'all, listen, we're going to drop a pin. <laughs> we're going to drop a pin right there. And uh, we will be back next week, Tuesday through Thursday. So make sure you don't miss out. Um, you know, set the notifications on our channel so you'll so you won't uh, miss any of the episodes. We'll be back live here on Tuesday at 11, uh, 11 o'clock Eastern. So again, it's been a joy spending some time with you guys and his word. And uh, we will see you all next week. Next week. Amen. 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 Andre, I just saw your text. Yes. We don't need to figure out what he has